Blessings, everyone. I just wanted to come on. Like I said, I was going to come back on before the week was out. So I just wanted to come on and share that I do have a new Facebook page. And um, I'll be sending the videos to the Facebook page. So that should be uh, exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll just say a quick prayer. Then I'll just share what I wanted to share with you. And then I will... That'll be it. <laughs> okay. So, Father God, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to share with your people. I pray that the right people will come and hear this and they will understand your heart and hear the cry of your heart. I just bless you and I give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty name. Okay. So, this week I was watching, um, I was listening to a news newscaster and uh, she mentioned that the Planned Parenthood is celebrating a record number of abortions despite the drop of abortions worldwide and that they were just recently celebrating an 80 year anniversary. So again they did mention that there was a drop in the abortion rate like there are not as many abortions but there's still almost 125,000 abortions being done daily. So any abortion is one too many. Then I went back to learn, uh, look up a little bit of the history of Planned Parenthood and found an article that was entitled The Negro Project. And in this article, it talked about how Planned Parenthood was initiated way back in 1939 by Margaret Sanger. She worked with the American Birth Control League and the Birth Control Research Bureau to implement eugenics to eliminate the unfit. Eugenics. I had to look up that word, never heard that word before. So eugenics now is the science of improving a human population by controlled breeding to increase the occurrence of a desirable, heritable characteristics. Terrible, terrible. The unfit, hmm. The article was very sad to me and to see how abortion and birth control was established to prevent the birth of those considered inferior or unfit, un, unfit. How, how can an innocent baby be considered unfit even before they even come out? How can a baby be considered unfit because of their race? So, I will definitely post a link for that article so you can see it and read uh, the history of how uh, Planned Parenthood came about, how and why it was initiated to kill babies to control a specific breed of the human population. Really interesting. So this basically is a piggyback off of a YouTube I did this week. And um, I did say that I was going to come back on. So I will post um, that particular YouTube on the, the new Facebook page along with this one. And basically just posting so that people can hear the heart of God. Um, because the post that I did this week was basically sharing the heart of God about the shedding of innocent blood and how the killing of the babies through abortion is greatly grieving him. So God is calling for cleansing in this land. He is calling for us to live holy and pure lives before him. And I pray that we start today. Um, I'll post other links in this description and, um, I'll come on soon. 
So, Father God, I pray that your word fall on good ground. I know it's a short word, but it's pretty short and to the point. I pray, oh God, that those with open hearts hear and know your heart. And I just pray, oh God, that you would get all the glory out of this. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.